Hey everybody, Jed from Jed Demo Productions, coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee on another Tutorial Tuesday. November 22nd, just a couple days away from Thanksgiving. I want to take a quick minute to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving holiday. Hope everyone's doing great out there. Today I just want to take a quick minute and just talk about how to turn a stereo track into a mono track in uh, Studio One. So let, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this kick track right here. As you can see, it's a stereo track. Now, if you look over here, you can see that there's a stereo to mono uh, monitoring button. Now, if, if it's engaged like that, where you can see the left side of the loop, we're listening in stereo. If I click it and you just see one little circle, that's a mono. Okay, so now we're listening in mono. So if I switch it to mono, highlight the track, and then I come up here to event and come down to bounce, uh, it will bounce it down to a mono track. So now, as you can see, we have a mono track. You can also use the um, hold command and hit B. Command B on a Mac will also do the same uh, function for you. So that's a quick way to do it. So uh, let, let's do another one. Let's do the snare top here. As you can see, it's a stereo track. Got the mono switch here, and I can just hit Command-B, and there we go. Now I've got a mono signal. I'm gonna pull that down a little bit volume-wise. It's kinda of loud. I like to have them hitting right around minus 12, and that's for another video. Um, so there you go, that's, that's a quick way to do it. Now, why do I want to do this? Well, um, on things like kick, snare, bass, um, and sometimes vocals, I like to have the track be in mono. So it's, it's easier for me to deal with. It's easier for me just to see it and say, okay, that's a mono kick track. That's a mono stereo track. And to me, they seem to sit better in the track more solidly right in the middle of the stereo field. I feel like I get a little more punch that way when everything seems to be locking right in uh, mono, it's e also easier to line things up directly on the grid if they're mono, it's just less stuff to look at. Um, there's several reasons why I like to do it in mono, but um, that is how you can do it quickly in Studio One. And I also wanna show you here, let's go to the um, hi-hat track here. Let's listen to that, turn it up a little bit. Now I'm going to, I'm going to pan that a little bit to the right. Now I'm going to take that same track and I'm going to convert it to mono. Let's leave that pan where it was. Now to me, it just seems a little bit more vivid in that stereo field spot. We're going to move it around. It's just a little bit more direct and a little more vivid to me in mono. Um, and it's just easier for me to deal with that hi-hat track now. Okay, so that's just about it for me today on why and how to turn stereo tracks into mono tracks in Studio One. I'm using Studio One 5.5 right now. Taking a look at Studio One 6. It just came out not too long ago. Looks like it's got some cool stuff. So uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave comments. Let me know um, if you have some questions. It could be any kind of topic that has to do with Studio One or even uh, music production in general. Um, I'd love to hear your comments and your thoughts. Uh, again, I am a country music producer in Nashville, Tennessee. I have a large library of top lining tracks for country music um, songwriters. And uh, you can check that out at jeddemloproductions.com. The track that you're listening to right now is called Loaded. And this is one of those tracks that I'm talking about. This is a top lining track designed for singer-songwriters to write their lyrics over top of. Anyway, that's it for me today. I'll be talking to you guys again real soon. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.